Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions and have also failed to stop crime when they suspected it. The documents known as the FinCEN files were leaked to BuzzFeed News and shared with the BBC by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. They indicate that London is a hub for money laundering, with billions of pounds worth of suspected dirty money moving through the system. Richard Bilton reports. Most of his body was submerged underwater. The files show the reality of fraud. It can be a messy business. He was bound. Uh, he had coverings over his face. You knew that he was deceased. Raymond Pacheco's body was found in a vineyard. And this is the dream that cost him his life. World Capital Market is managed by a team of experts. He was taken in by a scam. To make money, he needed to recruit other investors. When they lost money, he was murdered. Asia and Europe. He was a victim in the scheme. He was a victim in a homicide. Um, just a true, true victim. Thousands lost money in the scam. The fraudsters stole $80 million. We've discovered that Britain's biggest bank helped them get away with it. HSBC allowed the fraudsters to move the stolen cash around the world even after the bank had been told it was a scam. The US part of the bank said it was unable to locate any accounts with the information stated on the subpoena. What HSBC didn't tell the regulator is that those accounts were in another country. The bank then carried on moving more than $30 million of stolen cash from the UK and US to the fraudsters' HSBC accounts in Hong Kong. So they had the information, they sat on it. That's when they were uh, just as guilty as the fraudsters in perpetuating the scheme. They knew about it and did nothing about it. HSBC didn't comment on the fraud case, but said it has been on a multi-year journey to overhaul its ability to combat financial crime. But the files show the secret story is that banks often don't stop crime and suspect behavior. The leak is of suspicious activity reports. What banks have to tell the authorities if they think their clients may be up to no good. These documents contain some of the banking system's most closely guarded secrets. The suspicions big banks have about their wealthiest clients. And they show how the system has failed to stop criminals from laundering their cash. Because banks have to send the reports, but they don't always act on them. This is an unprecedented and remarkable leak that tells us, um, as never before, what the banks know about uh, suspicious money movements. There's never been a leak like it before. The secret reports show the way banks have really been behaving, placing the UK at the heart of global money laundering. Richard Bilton, BBC News.